For years, SpaceX has stood unchallenged at the summit of commercial spaceflight. Their Falcon rockets have transformed space access, making the impossible routine and the extraordinary ordinary. But on January 16th, 2025, the ground shook at Cape Canaveral. And it wasn't just from rocket engines. Blue Origin's New Glenn, a rocket that had been years in development, finally spread its wings. As it pierced through the clouds, it carried more than just its payload. It carried the promise of a new era in space competition. The cheers that erupted from the crowd that day weren't just celebrating another successful launch. They were celebrating choice, competition, and the dawn of a new space race. What makes this moment truly revolutionary? It's not just about having another player in the game, it's about what New Glenn brings to the table. With its massive seven meter diameter payload fairing, it dwarfs the traditional 5.2 meter fairings found on SpaceX's workhorse rockets. This isn't just a number, it's a game changer for missions requiring larger payloads. But SpaceX isn't a company that rests on its laurels. In early January, 2025, they unveiled their counter move, an upgraded Falcon Heavy fairing that proves they're ready to defend their territory. This isn't just a modification, it's a statement. While keeping the same diameter, they've added a crucial 17 feet in height, pushing the total to 60 feet and proving that innovation never sleeps in the space industry. Today on Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're going to break down this high stakes battle between two aerospace giants, exploring how SpaceX's latest move could reshape the future of space launch capabilities. Let's dive right in. The battle for space supremacy has always been about more than just reaching the stars. It's about pushing the boundaries of human achievement. In the early hours of January 16th, 2025, as Blue Origin's new Glenn stood gleaming on the launch pad, veteran engineer Sarah Martinez stood watching with tears in her eyes. After 15 years of development, countless setbacks and moments of near defeat, this was more than just another launch. It was the culmination of thousands of people's dreams. As the countdown reached zero and New Glenn roared to life, the ground trembled beneath the feet of everyone at Cape Canaveral. The rocket's ascent wasn't just a technical achievement. It was a declaration that the era of single company dominance in space was over. The cheers that erupted weren't just from Blue Origin employees. They came from across the space industry, including surprisingly, some SpaceX engineers who understood that true innovation needs competition to thrive. For years, the space community had wrestled with an uncomfortable truth. While SpaceX's achievements were revolutionary, they had transformed reusability from science fiction into routine operation, slashed launch costs from hundreds of millions to tens of millions, and made space more accessible than ever before. The lack of serious competition had cast a long shadow over the industry's future. Innovation thrives on competition, and now that competition had finally arrived in dramatic fashion. The heart of this rivalry lies in a seemingly simple metric, size. But as Dr. Elena Rodriguez, lead payload integration specialist at NASA, explains, New Glenn's seven meter payload fairing isn't just about being bigger, it's about enabling missions we've only dreamed of until now. She pauses running her hand along a scale model of the rocket. This cavity could swallow entire satellites that would be impossible to launch in traditional fairings. It's not just a technical specification. It's a key that unlocks the next chapter of space exploration. But here's where the story takes its first dramatic turn. While the world was focused on Blue Origin's achievement, SpaceX had been quietly orchestrating their own revolution. In a secure facility in Hawthorne, California, a team led by veteran engineer Tom Chen had been working around the clock on something extraordinary. The extended Falcon Heavy fairing, revealed in those crucial early days of 2025, wasn't just a response to competition. It was a demonstration of SpaceX's ability to innovate under pressure. Chen's team had faced a seemingly impossible challenge, how to dramatically increase payload volume without compromising the Falcon Heavy's proven reliability. Their solution, standing 60 feet tall, transformed the Falcon Heavy from a powerful rocket into a versatile giant. But the real story lies in what they chose not to do. And this decision reveals SpaceX's true strategic brilliance. 
Unlike their standard fairings, this extended version isn't designed for reuse. In the space industry, where reusability has become almost a religion, this choice raised eyebrows. But as former SpaceX engineer Maria Patel explains, sometimes the boldest innovation is knowing when not to innovate. We could have spent years developing a reusable extended fairing, but that wasn't the point. This was about building a bridge to the future. That future has a name, Starship. With its colossal 9-meter diameter and 18-meter height, Starship's payload bay isn't just bigger, it's transformative. When Elon Musk says it could fit a disassembled Eiffel Tower, he's not engaging in hyperbole. He's painting a picture of space access on an unprecedented scale. This is where the competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin transcends corporate rivalry and enters the realm of human destiny. Dr. Ali Bramson from Purdue University leans forward in her chair, eyes shining as she describes the possibilities. With Starship's capacity, we're not just talking about bigger satellites. We're talking about sending entire laboratories to other worlds. Imagine having the equivalent of a university research facility on the surface of Mars or Europa. That's not science fiction anymore. That's our near future. The story takes another unexpected turn with the Arcanum mission, a proposed voyage to Neptune and its mysterious moon Triton. At 21 metric tons, this spacecraft would be four times heavier than any deep space probe ever launched. Dr. James Morrison, the mission's lead scientist, speaks with barely contained excitement. This isn't just about breaking records. Arcanum will carry an orbiter, a lander, and a surface penetrator. We'll study Triton's geology in ways we never could before. This is the kind of comprehensive exploration that scientists have dreamed about for decades. But perhaps the most stunning revelation comes from Dr. Philip Lubin's team at UC Santa Barbara. Their calculations reveal something that sounds like science fiction. With Starship's capabilities, we could potentially defend Earth from an extinction-level asteroid impact. The same size as the one that killed the dinosaurs, Lubin emphasizes, his voice grave. For the first time in Earth's history, a species has the potential to prevent its own extinction. That's not just engineering, that's evolution. The competition is driving innovation in unexpected ways. While Blue Origin pushes boundaries with New Glenn's impressive fairing, SpaceX's response reveals a different kind of innovation, one focused on pragmatic solutions that bridge the gap to an even more ambitious future. Their extended Falcon Heavy fairing employs a detonation-based deployment mechanism, a solution that prioritizes reliability over reusability. As one SpaceX engineer put it, sometimes the best solution isn't the most obvious one. The implications for space science have left even veteran researchers stunned. Dr. James Head, a planetary scientist from Brown University with over 40 years of experience, struggles to contain his excitement. Starship is like, wow, that's not very scientific language, but that's honestly the best way to describe it. We're looking at the capability to send 100-ton payloads to distant moons. Do you understand what that means? Every mission we've ever dreamed of but dismissed as impossible, suddenly they're all on the table. This new era of competition is already spawning innovative solutions to existing problems. When NASA's Hubble Space Telescope faced operational challenges, a conversation between Elon Musk and astrophysicist Saul Perlmutter led to an extraordinary proposal. Transforming a starship into a space telescope with 10 times Hubble's resolution. Dr. Catherine Yang, an optical systems engineer who worked on Hubble calls it the kind of crazy idea that just might work. The kind of thinking that only emerges when you have real competition pushing the boundaries of what's possible. The economic implications send shockwaves through the industry. SpaceX's target of $2 million per Starship launch isn't just a cost reduction, it's a paradigm shift. Dr. Robert Martinez, an economist specializing in space industry analysis, explains the magnitude. We're talking about democratizing space access in a way that's never been possible before. Universities, private research institutions, developing nations, suddenly they're all players in the space game. This isn't just market competition. It's a revolution in who gets to participate in humanity's greatest adventure. The human stories behind this technological race are equally compelling. At Blue Origin's facility in Kent, Washington, veteran engineer Mike Thompson 
shows me a photo of his grandfather, who worked on the Apollo program. He always told me that the space race brought out the best in humanity, not just technological innovation, but hope, inspiration, the belief that we could be better than we are. That's what this competition is doing now. It's not just about rockets. It's about who we can become as a species. As these aerospace giants push each other to greater heights, they're writing the next chapter in human history. Every improvement in payload capacity, every reduction in launch cost, every innovation in deployment mechanisms brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. The competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin isn't just about market share, it's about expanding the realm of human possibility. The impact resonates far beyond the corporate world. In classrooms across the globe, young engineers and scientists watch these developments with growing excitement. Sarah Chen, a high school student in California, recently won her state science fair with a project analyzing potential Starship payload configurations. When I was little, space felt so far away, she says. Now it feels like it's just waiting for us to reach out and grab it. The story of SpaceX's extended Falcon Heavy fairing, seen in this context, isn't just about matching Blue Origin's capabilities. It's about maintaining momentum while building toward an even more ambitious future. It's a testament to the power of competition to drive innovation, and a reminder that in the space industry, standing still means falling behind. As these aerospace giants continue their rivalry, they're not just competing for market share, they're racing to unlock humanity's future in space. Every launch, every innovation, every success brings us closer to a future where space travel is as common as air travel is today. The question is no longer whether we'll achieve these ambitious goals, but when, and more importantly, how this new era of competition will shape the path we take to get there. Looking up at the stars tonight, they seem closer than ever before. Not because they've moved, but because we have. Through competition, innovation, and sheer human determination, we're reaching higher than ever before. The space race is reborn, and this time, we're all going along for the ride. As we stand at this pivotal moment in space exploration, the competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin isn't just reshaping the industry, it's redefining our future among the stars. SpaceX's extended Falcon Heavy fairing and Blue Origin's new Glenn represent more than just technical achievements. They're the keys to unlocking humanity's next great adventure. This story of innovation, competition, and human achievement continues to unfold. Every day brings new developments in this exciting space race, and we're committed to bringing you the latest updates and in-depth analysis here on Elon Musk 24 Hours. If you're as passionate about the future of space exploration as we are, join our growing community of space enthusiasts. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on the latest developments in this new space race. Share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who understand that competition drives innovation and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on how this rivalry will shape the future of space exploration. We're living in an extraordinary time where dreams of space travel are becoming reality. And together we're witnessing history in the making. Until next time, keep looking up. The future is getting more exciting by the day.